गणाना आंतवा गणपति गुम हवाम हे कविं कवीना उपमश्रवस्तों ज्येष्ठराज ब्रह्मणा ब्रह्मणस्पता न श्रृण्वन्नु चिबिसी दशादनम ओम महागणपतये नमः ओम सरस्वतये नमः श्री गुरुभ्यो नमः हरि ही ओम ओम शन्नो मित्र शंवरुणः शन्नो भवत्वर्यमा शन्न इंद्रो बृहस्पति ही शन्नो विष्णुरुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो तमे प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्मासी तमे प्रत्यक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या ऋत वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तदुक्तावत अवतु मवतु वक्त ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं सहनावत सहन उनक्त सह वीर वाह तेजस्वीनावधीतमस्तुमा विदुषा वह ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं यशंदसा वृषभो विश्व छंदोभ्यो झमृता आसंबूव समेन्द्रो मेधया आस्पृणत अमृत से देवधारणो भूयासम शरीर मे विचर्षण जिह्वा मे मधुमत्तमा कर्ण आभ्यांभूरी विश्व ब्रह्मण कोशोसी मेधया पिहित श्रुत मे गोपाय ओं शांच शांच शांति ओम अहम वृक्ष से रेरिवा कीर्ति पृष्टंगिरेरिव ऊर्ध्व पवित्रो वाजिनी वमृतमस्म द्रविण समर्षसम सुमेधाक्षिता जितिशंकोर्वेदाचन ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णमद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं आप्याय मंगा वाक्चक्षुश्रोत्र बतमुलिंद्रिया चर्वाणी सर्व ब्रह्म उपनिषद आहम ब्रह्म निराकुरियां ब्रह्म निराकोद निराकरणमस्त निराकरण मेहस्तु तदात्म निरते यपनिषत्सुधर्मास्ते मयि सन्त ते मयि सन्त ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं वाग्मे मनसी प्रतिष्ठि मनो मे वाचि प्रतिष्ठित आविवीर्मये धी वेद से मणि ये स्तः श्रुत मे मसी अनेनाधीते न अहो रात्र सन्नधा ऋत वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तदुक्तावत अवत मवत वक्त अवत वक्त ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं भद्रन्नो अत मन ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं भद्रंकणे शृणुयाम देवा भद्रम पश्ये मक्षभरियत्रा स्थिरे सुष्टुवागम सस्तनु व्यशेम देवहित यदायु स्वस्तिन इंद्रो रुद्रश्रवा स्वस्तिन पूषा विश्ववेदा स्वस्तिनस्ताक्षुवर्षने स्वस्तिन बृहस्पतिर्दा ओं शांच शांच शांति ओं यो ब्रह्माण विधाति पूर्व ये वेदाग्च प्रहिणोति तस्म तगुम हेमात्मुच्चि प्रकाशम मुक्षुर्वै शरणमहम प्रपद्ये ओं शांच शांच शांति ओम नमो ब्रह्मादिभ्यो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय कर्तृभ्यो ओम शर्षिभ्यो महद्यो नमो गुरुभ्य सर्वोपलोरहित प्रज्ञानग प्रज्ञगस्मेवाहमस्मी ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मी नारायण पद्मभूम वशिष्ठ शक्ति तत्पुत्रपराशर व्यास शुकं गौड़पद महांत गोविंद योगींद्र मथा से शिष्य श्रीशंकराचार्य मथा से पद्म पाद हस्तामलक शिष्य तंतोटक वार्तिकारमस्मदुरु सततमास्मी श्रुतिस्मृतिपुराणनाल करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर शंकर शंकराचार्य केशवंबादरायण सूत्रभाष्यकृत वंदे भगवंत पुन पुन ईश्वरो गुरुरात्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्याप्तहाय दक्षिणाूर्त नम सहनावत सहन मुनक्त सह वीर वाह तेजस्वीनावदीतमस्तुषा ओं शांच शांच शांति आम्नायांतकसंसिधमाध्यावर्जित आनंदघनमापूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्मे ओके 
so after the mangala charana invoking the grace of ishwara and guru sampradaya and also praying for the freedom from all three types of adversities adi daivika adi bhautika and adhyatmika let's begin our study of prasthanatraya nyaya prasthana which is brahma sutra on this there is a vritti vritti by bhagwan sadashiva brahmendra saraswati brahmendra is a tag given to him his name is sadashiva sadashivendra saraswati he he was from the south and he has written many works some of which are not even available now he was not only a vedantin a brahmanishtha but also a yogi so he has written vritti which is a short explanation on brahma sutras and also vritti on yoga sutras so we'll study the brahma sutra vritti which is called as brahma tattva prakashika the word brahma tattva prakashika itself is uh, samasa which is tatpurusha so brahmana tattvam brahma tattvam tattvam is tasya bhavah तस्य भाव तत्व वॉट इज तत् देर तस्य भाव तत् बींग सर्वनाम प्रोनाउन इट स्टैंड फॉर एवरीथिंग समवेर भगवान भाष्यकार से इज दैट तत् सर्वनाम सो इट स्टैंड फॉर एवरीथिंग यू कैन यूज तद इन ऑल जेंडर्स इट विल डिक्लाइन डिफरेंटली इन संस्कृत बट इट स्टैंड फॉर एवरीथिंग इट कैन स्टैंड फॉर एनीथिंग एंड एवरीथिंग thereby it includes everything which is objectifiable and not objectifiable manifest and manifest so tat itself is the name of brahma really it can point towards brahma brahma being the shabda to depict that denote that which can not be denoted by nama roopa which is beyond nama roopa brihi vridho which is limitless that infinite tattva called brahma can be denoted by tat and tasya bhava tattvam so if you take it in that manner then brahma eva tattvam brahma is equal to tattvam brahma tattvam samasa will be brahma tattvam by karma dharaya or brahmana tattvam shashti tatpurusha you get brahmana tattvam brahma tattvam then tasya brahma tattvasya prakashika प्रपूर्वक काश धातु एंड न्यूल प्रत्यय स्त्रीलिंग यू गेट प्रकाशिका सो दैट विच इलाबरेट्स थ्रोज लाइट अपॉन द रियलिटी ऑफ ब्रह्म और रियलिटी विच इज ब्रह्म सत तत्व सो तत्व इज रियलिटी एंड इफ यू टेक इट एज षष्टि तत्पुरुष ब्रह्मण तत्व देर विल बी रियलिटी ऑफ ब्रह्म एंड वॉट इज द रियलिटी ऑफ ब्रह्म इट इज ब्रह्म इट सच्चिदानंद वस्तु इट सेल्फ वसती वस्तु दट वस्तु इट सेल्फ सो ब्रह्म तत्व से प्रकाशिका इज दि वृत्ति ब्रह्म सूत्र वृत्ति एंड वॉट इज दिस ब्रह्म सूत्र सो सूत्र द वर्ड सूत्र देर सूत्र इज अ इन इंग्लिश दे कॉल इट एज एफोरिज्म वॉट इज इट रियली सो द लक्षण फॉर सूत्र इज स्वल्पाक्षरम और अल्पाक्षरम अल्पाक्षरम असंदिग्धम सारवद विश्व तो मुखम अस्तोभम अनवद्यं सूत्र सूत्र विदो विदु सूत्र विदू नो वॉट सूत्र इज दे डिफाइन सूत्र इन दिस मैनर वॉट इज सूत्र दे नो विदु दे नो सूत्र विथ दो आर सूत्र विथ दे नो वॉट सूत्र इज एंड दे कॉल दिस एज सूत्र वॉट इज दैट स्वल्पाक्षर अल्पाक्षर दैट विच हेज वेरी लेस अक्षरास 
very less words, uh, very less letters, not words also, letters. So those who have studied uh, Vyakrana Sutras, Panini Sutras, there it is said that Vyakranas, the grammarians celebrate by saving even half a matra, ardha matra. If they save half a matra, half an akshara or matra even in a sutra, then it is considered as a festival. What kind of festival? As if a son is born in the family. That kind of a, that kind of an importance is there for alpaksharatvam, for less number of letters in the sutra because all this is to be committed to memory. In orthodoxy, sutras are committed to memory and the vritti in Vyakrana at least forms on its own. So you can form a vritti like a running vritti looking at what is the earlier sutra, what is the earlier sutra and you can make some sense of the sutra. When you have learnt, you can make some sense of the sutra by just having it in the memory. Therefore, the lesser the number of letters, lesser the students have to memorize. And also in old school, when there was no paper or there was no printing, all this was written on leaves. Therefore, it would save space also in copying and reproducing and distributing. So, Alpaksharatvam is one of the characteristics of a sutra. What else? The sutra should be Asandigdam. Sandigdam is having a doubt. Asandigdam is having no doubt. So it should, the word should be very clear. In the sutra, the word should be clear. So the less number of letters should not be at the cost of losing clarity. So clarity should be there. One should be clear as to what this word means. It can have many meanings, but it can, it should be clear as to what this does not mean as well. So, some level of clarity should be there which cannot lead to confusion. Oh, I am not sure what this word is at all. That kind of a scenario should not arise. So, Alpaksharam Asandigdam Saravat Saravat, it should have essence. It should not be, you know, just Sutra for the sake of Sutra. Yes, it has less, less number of uh, letters and it is a word which is clear. But then is it meaningful? It should be meaningful. It should be Saravat. It should convey the essence of whatever it is trying to convey. Further, Vishwato Mukham. Although it uses less number of letters and less words, it should still be able to convey more things than just one thing. It is facing towards everything, meaning whatever is the idea in the mind of the Sutrakara, the Sutra should be able to somewhat represent that. It is multifaceted. It is, does not have on the face of it whatever meaning looks out to you, whatever meaning appears or pops out to you, prima facie, there is still more depth. There is still more depth. Therefore, there are so many works on Brahma Sutra, not only in one Sampradaya, across various Sampradaya, other than Advaita also, you have Vishitta Advaita, Bheda Bheda, Shuddha Advaita, Dvaita, then so many Bhashyas and commentaries and sub-commentaries, Vyakhyas, Tikas, Tippanas, derivatives of these, Sankshipta, all of these are there, so many works on Brahma Sutra. Just like Vyakrana Sutra also, but Brahma Sutra has so many facets. So, you, it is Vishwato Mukham. Astobham, Anavadhyancha. So, Astobham, it should not have superfluous words. And it is that which will not be contradicted, meaning it should be free from error. You cannot afford to have sutras which are full of errors because there is a lot which will be based on sutras 
and the error will have a lower it will have it will percolate so sutra is free from error that is why when some lack of clarity is in in the derived works then the sutra is referred no the sutra says this which is of course based on shruti it is that which analyzes the shrutis which have apparent contradiction in the eye of the students there are so many shruti statements ved vedanta statements which when studied may appear to have so many things one contradicting the other as though or there may be lack of clarity on what the words stand for what is the exact meaning or how it can be so all this has to be analyzed and that analysis is done in the nyaya prasthana the shruti prasthana is upanishad vedanta vedanam antah nischaya the not only at the end of the vedas in chronology but the culmination of vedas what is the culmination of the vedas is it in karma kanda only or it is further to that in upasanas or it is further to that in jnana so that culmination is vedanta and vedanta upanishad proper is one of the prasthana traya the shruti prasthana smriti gita is the uh, gita is the smriti prasthana and then brahma sutra is the nyaya prasthana which will analyze the shruti taking support from smriti also as to giving more and more proofs to prove a point and thereby it should be anavadya this is sutra as per the knowers of sutra so that is for brahma sutra and vritti is a simple explanation of that generally it will use the words from the earlier sutras because words cannot be need not be repeated cannot be repeated because it has to be having less number of letters because it should be alpaksharam sutra cannot afford to keep on repeating words so for example the first sutra says the word brahma athato brahma jnyasa brahma then that brahma goes and presents itself in all sutras that follow total 555 sutra so brahma the word can be borrowed in making the sentence of the sutra the vritti even if the word brahma is not there and similarly with other words which have gone by so some words are to be supplied to make the sentence complete just like in uh, in vyakrana you make an anvaya the vritti is a simple anvaya kind of a construct which has the least number of words possible but it also has some analysis it also has some analysis as to why the sutra is there what is the purva paksha to it who are the opponents what not who are the opponents but what are the opponents saying about this why this sutra has come up and then what is the solution to this what is the siddhanta what is the uttara paksha siddhanta so vritti will have a brief of the bhashya it will be this vritti at least is based on the bhashya it may have the words as it is from the bhashya and it may also have some phrases or sentences also which may be the concluding statements in the bhashya nonetheless unlike bhashya it won't explain its own words and it will be as brief as possible while not compromising the clarity of the sutra so with this let's look at the mangalacharana shlokas there are five mangalacharana shlokas of bhagwan sadashiva brahmendra initially there is an introduction in this book uh, yeah so here you have oh, adhikaran kraman yeah so this vritti here starts with mangala charana there are five mangala charana shlokas 
आम्नायांतकसंसिद्धम आदि मध्यांतवर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योतिरुपास्महे दिस वॉट वी चैंटेड एंड दिस इज द मंगलाचरण दैट विल चैंट इन ईच ऑफ दि पाठ एंड एट दि एंड ऑफ दि पाठ ऑल्सो द फर्स्ट मंगलाचरण श्लोक आम्नायांतकसंसिद्धम वन वर्ड आदि मध्यांतवर्जित आनंद घन आपूर्ण आत्मज्योति उपास्महे थिंग अंत पद इज उपास्महे वयम उपास्महे वी वी वर्शिप उपास्महे उपास्महे इज वी वर्शिप व्हाट डू वी वर्शिप वी वर्शिप आत्मज्योति आत्मज्योति ज्योतिष शब्द ज्योतिष शब्द इज अ ज्योतिष इज अ स्त्रीलिंग शब्द इन यू नो वी हियर दी वर्ड्स इन स्त्रीलिंग इन अदर लैंग्वेज ज्योति इज अ नेम ऑफ अ वुमन The name of a girl, Jyoti, but Jyotish is really Napunsa Kalinga. In Sanskrit, Jyotish is Napunsa Kalinga, and in karma, in Dvitiya Vibhakti also, it will have the form Jyoti hi. Eka vachana. So Atma Jyoti hi, Atma na ha Jyoti hi, Atma Jyoti hi, Vayam Upasma hi. We worship the Atma Jyoti, the light of Atma. What is the light of Atma? Rahu Shiravat Shasti. Atma itself is Saprakasha. So Saprakasha Atma ka Saprakasha Swaroop Atma. We worship the Atma. What is that Atma? Amna Amna Yantai ka Samusiddham. So the who am I? Question. This Atma, Atma stands for I, Aham. Aham Atma. self that who am i question can be answered only by vedanta that is the word here amna yantaik samsiddham is the uh, cursor visible this violet cursor is it do you know where i am pointing the mouse yes, pointer yes we can see it okay okay yes, because yes. Uh, last time there was some confusion as the pointer wasn't visible so amna yantaik samsiddham Samsiddham, samyak siddham. What can be established without any doubt that Atma Jyoti that we worship is established doubtlessly as to what it really is by Amna Yanta Eka, Eka Meva. Amna is Vedas, Anta is the Anta from Vedanta. So Amna Yanta is Vedanta. वेदातक संसिद्ध वेदात एक संसिद्ध आत्मज्योति दट आत्मज्योति दट वी वर्शिप इज नॉट दैट आत्मा आत्मा एव ज्योति आत्मन ज्योति और आत्मा एव ज्योति आत्मा स्वरूप इन स्वरूप इट इज प्रकाशात्मक प्रकाश इज ऑल्सो नॉट लाइट एज इन दी लाइट ऑफ द सन इट इज ज्ञानात्मक चित्स्वरूप सो ज्ञान विल फाइनली द वर्ड ज्योति विल कलमिनेट द मीनिंग इज प्रकाश एंड इट कलमिनेट इन ज्ञान विच इट सेल्फ विल कलमिनेट इन वेन यू एनलाइज दर्ड ज्ञान ज्ञान इज अ ज्ञा धातु इज सकर्मक धातु एंड वेदांत टेल्स अस दैट आत्मा इज एक द्वितीय देर फोर इट कैनॉट हैव अ कर्म द ज्ञा ज्ञान युडंत पद ज्ञा प्लस ज्युट विल गिव ज्ञान ज्ञानम इन नपुंसकलिंग ज्ञानम मीन्स चित इट कैन ऑल दो दि धातु कैन टेक अ कर्म देर इज नो कर्म विच इट कैन टेक बिकॉज देर इज नथिंग अदर देन आत्मा दिस इज दि टीचिंग ऑफ दि उपनिषद विच कैनॉट बी नोन बाय एनी वन इन बाय एनी अदर मीन्स बाय एनी दर्शन स्टडी Finally, one has to study all darshanas to understand Vedanta as the final darshana, which is the truth, which is the truth as revealed by the Vedas, there by the Upanishads. Therefore, Vedanta ek amna yanta ek samusiddham atma jyoti hi vayam upasmahe. Further, what is this? This amna ta amna. आम्नायांतक 
Samusiddham is one Visheshana to Atma Jyoti. What other Visheshana is there? Adi Madhyanta, Adi Madhyanta Varjitam, Adi Madhyan Anta. Free from beginning, middle or end. It does not have a birth or death. And since it is free from Adi and Anta, it does not have Madhya also. Adi Madhyanta Varjita meaning since it was never born, it can never die. You cannot say that, oh my Sharira is there, it was born, it is going to die, therefore I am living on limited number of days. Be it 100 years, but still limited. I would like to live more. That is the Sharira. But it is not the Atma. That Atma Jyoti has been shining forever. Paja Atma. So Adi Madhyanta Varjitam, bereft from Adi Madhyan Anta, that is this Atma Jyoti. What else is it? It is Ananda Ghanam. It is not that kind of ananda, the happiness that we experience. It is not experiential happiness. Of course, experiential happiness is due to it. But then it is not limited to these experiential units of happiness, gradations of happiness. Even the Taitri Upanishad, uh, Ananda Valli, the name itself is Ananda Valli where it talks about gradations of Ananda across various Upadis starting from human being, an ideal human being who can never be, an emperor who owns the entire world, entire wealth of the world, who is young enough to enjoy it and he is free from flaws, you know, he is free from Agha. He is free from Papa, meaning he is Shrotriya. He is one who is uh, rather following, not Shrotriya per se, but he is, he is a Sattvika person. He follows Dharma. So, young enough to enjoy the wealth in a Dharmika way. So, there will be less Dukkha, there will be more Sukha. What is his Sukha? That is one unit of Sukha. And then multiplied by tenfold, multiplied by tenfold, so on. Some 10-20 times it will go and will finally reach Hiranyagarbha's Ananda. Across Upadis, passing through, you know, Pitru Ananda, Deva, different types of Devatas and then Indra, Brihaspati. Finally, what is that Ananda? That is experiential Ananda, which can be attained by Vairagya towards the Ananda of that Upadi. So, if you have Manushya, Upadi, then if you have Vairagya towards whatever Ananda is experienced through this Upadi, then the Shruti makes a commitment. Then the you, this Vairagi you, will attain tenfold happiness of the next Upadi. The next Upadi gives you tenfold Ananda. That will be attained here itself in this Upadi if you give up the craving for Ananda in experiential ananda in this upadi. You don't have to take another upadi, you don't have to take birth in another upadi, you can get experience of that tenfold ananda. What about if you have vairagya? So this should come to the mind. Oh, what if I have vairagya towards that tenfold ananda also? Oh, then the Shruti says you will get hundredfold ananda, meaning tenfold of that next upadi ananda you will get here. But how? Shrotriyasya cha kaam hatasya ya kaamena na hataha ya shrotriyasya so shrotriyaha one who is shrotriya one who has studied Veda Vedanta in the Sampradaya who knows what is dharma what is adharma follows dharma gives up adharma and who is Kamena na hataha iti akama hataha shrotriyasya cha shrotriyas chaka mahatasya. So, one who is not 
carried away, not taken for a ride by karma, that kind of a Shrotriya person will also get Sukha which is hundredfold. But then if you look at it, even if this person keeps on having Vairagya, does not have Jnana, the most he can get is Hiranya Garbhananda. Whether he craves it and gets it through Upasana, gets the Padvi, gets that Upadi, becomes Hiranya Garbha through Upasanas, Karma and Upasanas, still he can get some level of the highest level of experiential ananda but this is ananda ghanam is without any gradations in ananda so ananda ghanam indicates that it is this ananda of atma swarup ananda is free from any gradation any limitation there is no duality there let alone plurality or various gradations so this ananda ghana is like a homogeneous, limitless, which cannot be called as a unit, limitless ananda, which is one's own swarupa, we just get a glimpse of it here and there through vishyananda. Vishyananda is also reflected ananda of the same swarupa, one's own swarupa is reflecting into the vishaya when the craving towards that falls off. So ananda ghana is free from these uh, uh, Priya Moda Pramoda. So Priya is when you desire a particular Vishaya Vastu. That time there is some Ananda. Oh, I like this. Somebody talks about some Priya Vastu, we get Priya Rupa Ananda. Limited Ananda. Oh, I, I, oh, I like this. Oh, you like this? I'll get it for you. Tomorrow I'll get it for you, says your friend. Then some sweet, let's say. So tomorrow I'll get that sweet for you. I have never eaten, I mean, I have not eaten in so many years. You know, you, now that you mention it, oh, I really like it. So Priya Ananda and you are waiting for next day. Once your friend comes in, he has brought that particular Vishaya, then there is Moda Rupa Ananda increase and then he gives it to you. It has attained. You, you, you have it and you can consume it. Having consumed it, when you consume that sweet, then as though you become one with that sweet and then there is Pramoda, a higher level of Ananda because at that moment you are no longer craving that particular Vishaya. So the craving, the desire resolves and having resolved the Atma Jyoti which is Ananda Ghana Rupa that shines forth without any veiling. At least by that Vishaya. There are other desires which are there, which cover, but then at least that desire towards that Vishya is no longer covering. Therefore, you have Pramoda Rupa Ananda. So, Ananda Ghanam indicates no such gradation. It is that which manifests as Priyamoda Pramoda, that Swarupa Ananda. Further, it is Apurnam. Apurna it is. Apurnam. So, Adi Madhyanta Varjitam showed the Nityatvam. This Ananda Ghanam shows the Ananda Swarupa. So Nityam is Sat Ananda. Atma Jyoti he shows you the Chit Swarupa. Satchit Ananda is covered. Now Apurnam is also what? Asamanta Purnam. Which is which is Purna without any limit. Purna in the sense of the word not in a way that one would use it. Complete. It is complete without any anything to limit. There is no vishe parichheda, there is no you know vastu parichheda. There is no kala parichheda, there is no desha parichheda. So it is free from any limitations in time, space and object. One object can be that object at that point of time. A pot is a pot, it cannot be a cloth. A pot is in one place, it cannot be in the another in another place at the same time. The pot will wither away in time. It cannot last forever. So similarly, any vastu, any object, including the sharira, it will wither away in time. It cannot be at more than one place at the same time, it cannot be another. 
I would like to be this person, but I can't be. My sharira is limited. I would like to have more strength. I would like to free from be free from disease like this person. I would like to be beautiful like this person. So we all have our, you know, idols. Be in dharma also. I would like to be this level of dharmika. You know, I would like to have this level of nyana. Oh, such a brilliant person. So much of Vedanta study. I would like to have that. All this is what it is. All limitation, which I find. myself in i have find myself limited by all sorts of things but apurna means it does not have such limitation that is this atma jyoti vayam upasme so amna amna yantaik samsiddham adi madhyanta varjitam ananda ghanam apurnam atma jyoti hi vayam upasmahe that is the anvaya there and therefore apurnam indicates व्यापक तत्व विष्णु सो विष्णु तत्व दैट व्यापक तत्व विच इज ऑल ओवर सो सच्चिदानंद नित्य व्यापक वस्तु इज दिस आत्मज्योति विच इज नॉट एल्सवेर दैट ब्रह्म विच इज मी देर फोर दिस ऑल्सो शोज दैट आत्मज्योति रूपास मे ऑल्सो शोज दिस फर्स्ट मंगलाचरण इट सेल्फ शोज एवरी थिंग दैट दी श्रुति टॉक्स अबाउट one who wants this is an adhikari also the vishaya is known aikya between that limitless tatva and atma atma jyoti there is aikya so vishaya is known adhikari one who wants this wants to become purna so to say become prapta seva prapti jnanena so he is the adhikari then since this text is going to reveal it there is a sambandha with that what is it the phala is also this purnatvam we'll see more we'll see how this anubandha chatushtya comes up in the first sutra the next mangala charana is namastrayanta uh, namastrayanta kantar viharai kapatiyase vadimatte va samhartre vyasa kesirane sate so namaha the first word here is namaha namaha trayanta kantara viharaika patiyase so namaha is one word and in the first line the second word is the entire left over vadi matteva samhartre one word vyasa kesarine sate so namaha tasmay namaha it expects a chaturthi namaha is an avyaya which expects a chaturthi chaturthi is All these words are chaturthi. The four words, vyasa kesirane sate namaha, sate sadvastu. Vyasa, Bhagwan Vyasa, who is who is the author of Brahma Sutras, who is a kesari. Kesari means he is a lion. Simha, Simha ya namaha. Simha eva vyasa ya namaha. That's what it means. Vyasa kesirane namaha means one. this vyasacharya who is like a simha to him my namaskara who is sat swarupa sat brahma roopa sate vyasa kesarane namaha let there be namaskara to him and who is a i mean what kind of a lion is he he is like a lion simha eva simha kesari kesari eva kesari kesarin kesarin shabda so kesari eva kesari he is not really a lion obviously he is like a lion to whom he is he like a lion vadi matteva samharta he is so a lion can overpower a huge elephant ibha so there is a word matteva so ibha there the word ibha stands for an ele- elephant what kind of an elephant an elephant is very scary so we studied at uh, anekatti the name anekatti itself the gurukula was in anekatti anekatti is, is a place where the elephants frequent so how many ever number of people you are even the forest officers they are scared of elephants you will call them when things go beyond control but then 
even the forest officers cannot do much if the elephant just turns around if it is facing the other side they try to scare it, scare it away with you know fire you know fireworks and stuff like crackers and stuff like that light whatever with a sound but then just elephant just has to take a turn it just has to take a pose that it is turning the forest officers will also run away so that kind of a scary elephant is overpowered only by a lion and what kind of an elephant what if an elephant is drunk so that is an example given in the shastra matteb matteb is intoxicated elephant but the, it is not a real elephant vaadi so matteb iva matteb as do intoxicated by knowledge thinking that oh i know a lot i know what the shastra means that kind of a vaadi one who participates in vaada to win over the other to establish one's own understanding this is the right understanding or it is wrong because you say it there are a lot of uh, people even today you find in youtube there are a lot of people who attack shankara acharya why just because you talk about advaita it is wrong we don't care who talks about it i mean what you are talking sorry we don't care what you are talking we don't care whether you are talking about upanishad but just because you say it it is wrong so that is vitandavada so but still using tarka there may be others who are trying to convince you of what they are convinced so other darsh- darshanikas who are really convinced it is not that they are doing vitanda they also want to conclude something or they have concluded something which they want to impose upon you it can be a vada roopa katha samvada also like questioning or establishing something samvada by questioning the way arjuna questioned krishna or convincing arjuna the way krishna did that kind of a possibility is also there but then vadi matteva these who are argumentative like an elephant they are intoxicated this vyasa kesari is a samharta not a harta samharta samyakarta means he will destroy their arguments in such a manner that they can never come up again that is why if you look at it bhashya which is based on bhagwan vyasa sutras they the bhashya sentences have covered so much they have covered so much of the various darshanas existing then that even the new darshanas which have come up after bhagavad pada acharya bhagwan bhashyakara they also stand refuted because they have all borrowed bits and pieces from nyaya sankhya bauddha jaina all this is this some new philosophies which have come up they all stand refuted you just have to look into the bhashya and that is the role of the tika kara to show how the new philosophies also stand refuted by bhashya this is why the bhashya is also vishvatomukham and thereby the sutra sutra kara is called vyasa kesari sutra kara vyasa is called kesari he will do samharana of these vadas in such a manner that they won't come up again to such a vyasa kesari namaha and who, why is he able to do all that because where does he stay meaning where he is, is his mind what is his day consumed in trayanta kantara vihara ek patiyase he is a patu he is a patu he is an expert vyasa kesari bhagavan vyasa is an expert what is in is an expert in patiyas patiyas is one who is patu not only patu there is an iyasun pratyaya there who is who is the best expert there is he is not one among the experts he is the best expert there there is in what in doing only one single thing eka vihara he stays only in one thing that is why he is an expert among experts what does he stay in vihara where is where is his vihara where is his stay in kantara kantara is 
aranyam a forest he resides in a forest meaning he is his entire mind is focused in that kind of a forest of vedanta trayanta vedatraya ruk yaju and sam these are the three types of mantras which are there in vedas and the same ones one of these three are there in the atharva 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 veda also so atharva angirasa that is the name of the rishi who k- compiled or who uh, his mantras are his works are compiled by division when they were divided into four vedas so one way is to look at four vedas by different mantras but the content of the mantras is not really different from the ruk yaj yaju and sam particular type of mantras spread across the three vedas are there in atharva veda also because the atharva veda mantra will either be a rug mantra or a yajur mantra or a sam mantra sam vakya vakyas not necessarily mantras vakyas therefore it need not be counted as the four thereby three three veda three only three are there four can also be said three also will cover the four vedas anta we have seen anta in amnayanta vedanta and trayanta is also what vedanta in the forest of vedanta as the forest of vedanta it is so vast easy to get lost in that bhagwan vyasa has his stay therefore tasmai namaha stuvan moha tamasto va bhanu bhavam upeyushah stumastan bhagavat padan bhava roga vishagvaran so the third mangala charana is to bhagavat padacharya shankaracharya with a plural it is said bhagavat padan bhava roga vishagvaran stumaha stumaha vayam stumaha vi do stuti vi do stuti of whom so we praise who do we praise so vitiya bahuvachana by adarartha bhagavat pada is one but then we have a culture of using plural for respected people so bhagavat padan vayam stumaha tan bhagavat padan what kind of bhagavat pada that bhagavat pada who is stuvan moha tamastoma bhanubhavam upeshah so and also bishagvaran first we look at bishagvaran very short so bishagvaran bishak is a is a vaidya a physician a doctor what kind of a bishagvaran bhava roga bishagvaran so bhava roga samsara roga bhava is samsara bhavanam bhave vipatti so bhava bhava is to continue in samsara that life of transmigration being born again and again dying again and again continuing in samsara due to avidya so that bhava is itself a roga samsara is a roga so that kind of roga can be treated only by a special kind of a doctor who is a vedanta doctor so to say so bishak varan he is the vara he is the best among the physicians who t- can treat bhava roga that kind of bhagavat padan tan vayam stumaha and then there is this word along samasa what is that stuvan moha again stu dhatu stumaha stu dhatu stu to praise stuvatam stuvan is shatranta pada stuvat stuvatam मोह तमह मोह तम मोह इज डिलीजन तमह इज वॉट तमह इज दैट विच एक्चुअली कॉजस डिलीजन सो तमह इट सेल्फ कैन इज कैन बी कॉल्ड बाय कार्य मोह रूप सो मोह रूप तमह यू कैन से मोह तमह तम इज वॉट अविद्या रीली एंड इट इज घना पिच डार्कनेस अविद्या इज कंपेर्ड टू डार्कनेस देर फोर तमह and what kind of tamah ghana 
it is a ghana so therefore moha tamaha stoma stoma is uh, samuha therefore ghana so the meaning is ghana by the word stoma here stoma means samuha it's a group group of darkness in the form of moha so one is unable to get any space to even think that is why one keeps on continuing in bhava roga therefore this moha delusion is not once in a while it is continuous the tamaha is that ghana that stoma the, the group of tama samuha of tama of moha is in such a manner that it is never ending and it is very dense therefore ghanatvam so stoma artha is samuha therefore samuha artatva ghanatvam therefore the meaning will be what moha tama tamo ghana stuvatam so those who pray for those who pray who have this moha tama ghana tamo ghana which is there this bhagavat pada is a physician who will offer treatment in what manner the tamas has to go the darkness has to go so darkness will go by light what is that light bhanu bhavam upeyushah upeyush upeyusha is a plural and dvitiya bahuvachana will also be upeyushah upeyuhu in singular upeyusha in dvitiya bahuvachana so bhagavat pada it's a visheshana to bhagavat padan bhavaroga bhishagvaran upeyushah so स्तुवताम मोह तमो घने भानुभावम उपेयुष भानुभाव तुल्यान और सूर्य रूप भानुभाव इज वॉट भाव इज रूप भानुरूप भानु इज सूर्य सो सूर्य रूप प्राप्तान तुल्यान उपेयुष प्राप्तान वन हु हैज एज दो अटेन दी स्टेटस ऑफ बींग सूर्य भगवत पादाचार्य हैज एज दो बिकम सूर्य हिज अटेन दी भानुभाव सूर्य भाव सूर्य रूप एंड एज एज दूर्य प्रकाश वॉशेस अफे इवन दि पिच डार्कनेस ऑफ एन अमावस्या नाइट एज इट डॉन्स एज द सूर्य डॉन्स इट टेक्स अवे ऑल अंधकार सिमिलरली भगवत पादाचार्य हैज टेकिंग अवे हीज टेकन अवे और यू कैन सी हीज टेकिंग अवे इवन नाउ थ्रू इज भाष्य एक्सेट्रा is taking away tamoghana moha roopa tamoghana for one who praises for those who praise plural stuvatam stuvatam moha tamoghane vishaye ghaneshu visheshu because ghanatvam can be ghana itself means singular so it's better as singular moha tamoghane vishaye stuvatam yah भानुभाव तुल्य भानुभाव सूर्य रूप प्राप्त और इन प्लूरल भगवत पादा ये भगवत पादा तान भगवत पादान ये भवरोग भिषग्वरा तान भवरोग विषग्वरा वयम स्तुम सो वी वर्षिप कंटिन्यूअसली वी कीप ऑन वर्शिपिंग दैट इज दि थर्ड मंगलाचरण looks like we'll be able to do only mangala charana uh, i'll read the first uh, uh, sutra anyway we'll, we'll finish the mangala charana yadvani dyumani dhvasta manmoha dhvanta santatihi shri gurun bhavayamas tan strayantam buja bhaskaran again here bhaskaran so the surya bhaskara here bhaskaran shri gurun what kind of bhaskaran trayanta ambuja bhaskaran trayanta we have seen amnayanta trayan trayanta itself we have seen in the second verse mangala charana so trayanta is vedanta vedanta ambuja ambu ambu is water ja is born jata so tasma jata ha ambuta ha jata ha that which is born in water is padma 
So lotus. So Vedanta lotus. The lotus in the form of Vedanta Bhaskaran. So the lotus blooms when there is sunlight. So similarly, Trayanta Ambuja Bhaskara. Those who are Shri Gurus, who are Bhaskara and need not be plural also, single also, can be more also. Bhavayamaha. Again here, Vayam Bhavayamaha. How? Here it is said, Yad Vani Jumani Dvasta Manmoha Dvanta Santatihi. This is a Yadvani Jumani Dvasta is a little complicated samasa. Uh, what appears to have, you know, with the uh, Santati ending pada here seems to be having a Ekadesha Anvaya. We'll look at it. Uh, I'll not spend a lot of time. I'll just explain what this samasa is. Yesham Vani Rupa Surya Manina Dvasta Manmoha Dvanta Santatihi. That's how the meaning should be. So Manmoha Dvanta Santatihi. This Yat pada will go with Tan. This tan here, tan, trayanta, ambuja, bhaskaran, tan, shri gurun, vayam bhavayamaha. We worship, we hold in our, our heart of hearts. So we hold these shri gurus who are revealing this trayanta, vedanta. How they are bhaskara to the lotus. The way a bhaskara, surya is to the lotus and the lotus blooms. Similarly, this vedanta words bloom and they as though reveal themselves to us when taught by such gurus, therefore Shri Gurun Bhavayamaha. And how do they show Prakasha to these Vedanta words and thereby reveal the words what they should reveal, not something else? By, by destroying. So by whom? Tan Vayam Bhavayama. So who are they? They are Yat. Yad is Yesham Vani. Yesham Vani. Their Vani is such, their teaching, the words are such. So Yesham Vani, Jumani Dvasta. Jumani Dvasta is Surya Mani. So this, this Bhaskara Rupa, their Vani is also. And thereby Dvasta destroyed. By this Surya Mani, what is destroyed? Santati is destroyed. Santati is, san, so Santana word you have, Santana, Santati. Santana is the lineage. Not of Putra here. Santati is the man, Manmoha Dvanta Santati. So, Manmoha Manasaha Moha Dvanta. Moha Dvanta is Moha Rupa Tamasaha Santati. Dvanta is also having the meaning of this Tamas. So, Moha Tamas is what? Moha Rupa Tamas, which has gone by early, in the earlier. So, this verse is easier that way. Manmoha Rupa Tamasa. Moha, sorry. Manasaha Moha Rupa Tamas Yaha Tamaha Yat Tamaha Yat Tamaha is Napun Sakalinga. So Yat Tamaha. So Tasya Tamasa Santati. The, the continuous flow of that Tamas, which is basically called Avidya Kama Karma. You can take it as Avidya Kama Karma. Avidya, Moha, Kama, Karma keeps on going on and then there is Samsara, Bhava Roga, which was there in the earlier verse. So, Manmoha Dvanta Santatihi Dvasta. It is destroyed. By what? This Surya Mani. What is that Surya Mani? Vani. There, Yesham Vani. So, that Yadvani Dhumani Dvasta. Or yet can be taken as a yesham, yesham, vani, jumani, dvasta. Possible yet can also be an avyaya whereby it can stand for yesham. Uh, so, uh, but as samas also yesham, vani, jumani, dvasta, surya, mani, dvasta, manmoha, dvanta, santati, tan, shri guru, shri guru. So, shri, shri guru nam, yesham, vani, jumani, dvasta, manmoha, dvanta, santati, tesham, shri guru, bhavayamaha, tan. Uh, sorry, the Tan Shri Gurun Bhavayama. And who are those? Trayanta Ambuja Bhaskara. Therefore, Tan Trayambuja Bhaskaran Shri Gurun Vayam Bhavayama. That is the fourth Mangalacharana. The last one is Srimad Deshika Padabja Paricharya Baladaham Bhashyanugam Brahma Sutra Vrtim Kurve Yathamati. Aham Kurve. 
अहम करूवे आई आई एम डूइंग लटलाकारा सो आई एम डूइंग बट वर्तमान सामीप्याद वर्तमान वद्वा इज द पाणिनी सूत्र वेयर बाय करूवे कैन आल्सो बी यूज लटलाकारा फॉर्म कैन आल्सो बी यूज फॉर सामीप्य मीनिंग आई विल डू इन लटलाकारा आई आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट्स आई विल सेज द ऑथर दिस इज भगवान सदाशिव ब्रह्मेन्द्र ही सेज कुरुवे किम कुरुवे काम कुरुवे अदरवाइज ब्रह्मसूत्र वृत्तिम कुरुवे दिस ब्रह्म तत्व प्रकाशिका इज अ नेम गिवन टू ब्रह्म सूत्र वृत्ति आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस सेज ही हाउ श्रीमद देशिक पादाब्ज परिचर्य बलात अहम कुरुवे आई एम डूइंग दिस और आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ ब्रह्म सूत्र वृत्ति बाय ड्यू टू बला बलाद हेतो पंचमी बलाद ड्यू टू दि स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ वॉट परिचर्य परिचर्य सेवा परिचरणम ड्यू टू दि सेवा आई हैव डन सेवा सेज भगवान सदाशिव ब्रह्मेन्द्र ऑफ इज गुरु सो श्रीमद्देशिक श्री अस्य अस्ति श्रीमत् अस्मिन अस्ति वा सो श्रीमत् श्रीमत् असौ देशिक देशिक इज अ टीचर गुरु सो श्रीमद्देशिक पाद दे पाद पादाब्ज इज पाद कमल कंपेरेबल टू कमल सो दि फीट आर दिस लोटस फीट सो श्रीमद्देशिक पादाब्ज परिचर्य आई हैव सर्व दि फीट ऑफ श्रीमद गुरु द लोटस फीट ऑफ दि गुरु हु इज एंडोर्ड विथ श्री एंड देर फोर देर इज स्ट्रेंथ दट आई अटेंड and due to that bala that i have attained by seva guru seva aham brahma sutra vritti guru he and what is this vritti sutra vritti is it an independent vritti as taught and how i understood am i making it in that manner no it follows the bhashya therefore bhashya anugam bhashyam anugachati iti bhashya anuga it follows the bhashya closely so it is independent many directly on the sutras for sure but it is based on the bhashya it does not you know separate itself from the bhashya's conclusion therefore it follows the bhashya bhashya anugam vrittim aham kurve and how i also have limitation is yathamati so yathamati is adverbial to kurve matim anatikramya without transgressing my limitations i have my limitations so whatever best i can do say see modestly and thereby ब्रह्मसूत्र वृत्ति कुरुवे इज दि यथामति कुरुवे इज दि अन्वयादेर आई जस्ट रीड दि फस्ट सेंटेन्स एंड दि सूत्र देन विल स्टॉप इह खलु भगवान् बादरायण प्रेक्षावत प्रवृत्तोपायक आपात आपातत स्त्रैयतवचो भी प्रतिपन्न अनुबंध जात न्याय तो निर्णय तो इदम आरचैन चकार अथा तो ब्रह्म जिज्ञास आई जस्ट एक्सप्लेन दिस सेंटेंस अ बिट एंड देन आई विल लुक एट डिटेल्स इन दी नेक्स्ट पाठ इह खलु टुमोरो सो इह खलु हियर इंडीड भगवान बादरायण सो बादरायण व्यास भगवान बादरायण सो देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ बादरी ट्रीज इन दैट प्लेस देर फोर ही गेट्स दिस नेम बादरायण देर देर ही हैज दिस अयन वास ही वॉज बॉर्न देर और यूज टू स्टे देर सो बादरायण इज द नेम दैट व्यासाचार्य वर्ड प्रेक्षा प्रवृत्तोपायक दैट विच इज उपाय उपाय फॉर प्रवृत्ति ऑफ प्रेक्षावत प्रेक्षावता फॉर दोज हू आर दे सी एंड नॉट ओनली सी दे हैव अ विजन दे हैव दे आर दे आर विचारात्मक सो दोज हू आर इन्क्विजिटिव हू इन्क्वायर इन टू थिंग्स दोज हू हैव विवेक डिस्क्रिमिनेटिव पीपल for them pravritti should be there into vedanta and they should not get lost into laukika inquiry they should be drawn towards vedanta therefore an upay has to be used what is that upaya that upaya is vedanta apatata is samanyata those who are you know thinkers have a philosophical bend of mind when they study vedas in the uh, brahmachari as a brahmachari then 
then the trayanta vachobi they also study vedanta in chanting this is the orthodox sampradaya that one would chant the vedas entirely swashaka at least so thereby the vedanta will also be chanted and if and when one learns sanskrita vyakrana these words will have some basic meaning which will come out and therefore if the shruti says atma va are drashtavya shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya then drashtavya atma drashtavya how how should the atma be seen understood how atma pratyaksha atma sakshatkara can happen shrotavya mantavya nididhyasitavya so shravana should be done these ideas will come to this person and therefore samanyata apatata samanyata there will be a pravrutti and the upaya is in the shastra itself which says vedanta vishesh shrotavya that upaya for the pravrutti of the prekshavat people or the intelligent people pratipannam all the it is you know samanyata pratipannam generally it is understood by anyone who is able to understand the words when he is chanting and is taught chanting that time itself some level of understanding will cause a person to vedant trayanta vedanta vacho bi pratipannam samanyata pratipannam what is that anubandha jatam anubandha the group of anubandha oh this uh, what should be heard shrotavya what should be heard by whom should it be heard what is the result of that basic understanding is hearing it is not shravana is not really hearing limited to hearing but then oh something has to be heard that idea will at least come to the mind shrotavya shru plus tavya pratyeva so kartavyatvam is there something is a is a vidhi what is the vidhi shastra is saying you should hear what for atma obviously you should hear about atma vedanta talks about that so one should hear anubandha jata anubandha is anubandha chatushtaya anubadhnati anupashchat badhnati so it ties up these things together one will have an inquisitiveness who am an adhikari should i hear yes i should hear why because i want to know what is atma and of course it will talk about phala also so prayojana is there i am an adhikari who should be an adhikari or am i an adhikari or not what is the vishaya and what is the phala how does all this all these how do all these three connect with each other sambandha so vishaya prayojana adhikari sambandha that is anubandha anubandha jatam all the samanyata apatata pratipannam api nyayatah nirnetum but still it has to be established using tarka so one may understand generally but it is he convinced oh yes this has to be done for that what has to be done this sutra is going to convince so nyayatah nirnetum logically to establish that and convince this person who is generally drawn to the shastra because of basic understanding of this anubandha this anubandha has to be established that is the focus of the first sutra athato brahma jignasa athato brahma jignasa therefore idam sutram arachanchakar badrayana vyasa so he created this sutra atha after anubandha uh, after the sadhana chatushtya sampatti acquisition ataha therefore therefore means since this sadhana chatushtya sampatti is possible anubandha is possible therefore brahma jignasa brahma jignasa kartavya has to be supplied we will see more in the next part of brahmana jignasa brahma jignasa kartavya one should jnatum ichha jignasa one should have ichha that is the basic meaning we will see more and how that meaning uh, has to be clarified has to be understood differently by adhyara of a kartavya word and how uh, anubandha is established we will see in the next part ha but brahmana jignasa kartavya one should inquire into brahma after getting the anubandha uh, sadhana chatushtya sampatti and since sadhana chatushtya sampatti with that adhikari is possible and anubandha chatushtya is possible therefore meaning vishaya prayojana adhikari and sambandhar there therefore inquiry into brahman should be carried out so we'll stop here with the mangalacharana shloka that we started with amna yantaika samsiddham mahadi madhyanta varjitam anand ghanam apurnam atma jyoti rupasmhe sat sat any questions sorry i took uh, 10 12 minutes more but i wanted to hit the sutra as a first in the first class so if there are no questions i'll see you in the next part namaste
नमस्ते गुरुजी नमस्ते